Hello and welcome to Nettie Shell's Craft Boxes. In this video I'm going to show you how to make these three gorgeous scallop shell candles using one of my scallop shell craft boxes. Let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we have inside today. Close very tight. Okay, on the top, as per all of my boxes, you'll find uh, your instructions, which carry an easy step-by-step -step guide uh, as to what I'm telling you in this video. Okay, nicely wrapped up. We have your three uh, plain scallop shells, uh, all been boiled clean, my business card. You get two silicon cases, these are for melting the wax inside of. Three bags of wax, all measured out, um, which is more than enough to fill up each of your shells with. Um, any candle wouldn't be complete without your wicks. You get three uh, candle wicks. They also have sticky dots, sticky pads even, to go on the bottom of the wicks to hold them in place. Three stirrers for stirring your wax with. A piece of dye if you want to uh, dye them or keep them plain is entirely up to you. I will show you how to leave them plain and how to add the dye in. The last thing you get in here is your little stop dots. Um, I'll tell you what these are for uh, a little bit later on. A few more things that you will need that aren't in this box are a pair of scissors for cutting your wicks uh, down with and also a microwave safe dish for placing your silicon cups on to go into a microwave. I will tidy all this up and we'll head on down into the creating section. Welcome everybody, we have got everything now set out ready to make our candles. We have our three ba bags of soil wax, our candle wax dye, three sticky dots with our three wicks, nine of these stop dots, our three shells, three uh, stirring sticks, two little silicon cups and one thing that is not in the box um, is just a plate, a microwavable plate which you'll be using to put your uh, silicon cups on in the microwave. So, once you open up your box and see my instructions, the first thing I'll get you to do is to make these shells as level as possible. We want them to be level, that way they'll fill up with the most amount of wax. Um, maybe not the best shot looking down, but we have a low point here. Uh, and If we were to fill it up with wax, the wax would trickle out of there. So we want to try and make them all um, as flat as possible so we can fill them up with the most amount of wax. To do this, take your sticky dots, um, kind of find where it would sit level, and then where the bottom is, we're going to need one, I'd say around about here. That one's perfect. Okay, so if you're looking across them now, they are a lot more uh, level, ready for pouring wax in. Doesn't matter if you don't use up all of your uh, stop dots. Um, I've just put three in for each one. That one was the trickiest, not the best. Okay, next step, we're gonna stick our wicks in. Best place to stick the wick in is in the deepest point, which is generally in that bottom curve bit here. To do this, you're going to take your sticky pads, pop your wick onto a sticky pad, pull the bottom off, and stick it right in the bottom there. Ta da! Do the same for the other two. Right, next thing we need to do is trim these down. You're going to need a pair of Scissors. Right, you're going to want to leave about uh, one to two centimetres above just so you can help guide it once you pull the wax in. These are wax covered 
wicks and when you pour the hot wax on it will start to melt and become a little bit bendy and um, so they may topple over a little bit uh, when we're doing it I'd suggest just to hold it up a tiny bit while it starts to set around it to hold it up right our shells are ready next we need to get our wax one bag is more than enough to fill up one shell we're going to do one at a time take your bag you're going to split it evenly half and half um, in between your two uh, cups one in there half in there, half in there do, 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 just roughly half and half now then I wonder if I can get up one of those fancy microwave for two minutes ok you're going to start with two minutes um, and after that do it in uh, 20 second increments um, to make sure you're checking to see if and when it melts use one of your stirrers to keep stirring um, until it's fully melted um, and ready for pouring Ta -da! after um, two minutes this time surprisingly maybe just over two minutes uh, my wax has now fully melted um, when you're getting it out of the microwave Make sure to use uh, either a tea towel or a oven glove, something to protect your hands with and when picking up the plate because the plate will be hot just like any other food that you would put in the microwave on a plate, it will be hot. Um, if there was just a few little uh, pellets that hadn't melted yet, just give it a stir. Stirring it will take out all of those uh, lumps and pellets. Okay. Next we are ready to pour um, our wax into a shell choose which shell you want to do. These silicon cups after um, a few seconds out of the microwave have cooled down enough that you should be able to pick them up and very carefully pour away. If you have made your shell nice and level you should be able to get a nice amount of wax into your shell. Da -da -da. I'm going to see how far I can push that one. That's probably the maximum before we start tipping off out there. And surprisingly, my wax is, uh, my wick has stayed straight up, so I don't need to fiddle about with that one. Okay, we've still got a little bit left over. That's no problem. We'll just pop our next um, pellets in and get ready to do the next candle. Half and half. I'm going to do the same for the others. We can do a bit of dye as well on one of them. Again, two minutes. Ta da! We have melted our second batch of wax. If there's any little pellets up on the side, you can always poke them in. Let's see, they're the ones that didn't melt. If you just give it a little stir, it will all melt. Try not to spill it like I do, otherwise, you'll end up with little bits of wax. Um, on your table, but that's fine. You can just scratch it off once it's dry. Uh, uh, right. Also in this pack, I have included a bit of dye. Ha <laughs> ha. Blue green dye. This one. Um. I don't know whether to do a mix or just do one. So I think I'm going to cut it into maybe two or three pieces, so I can do one as the whole color and one as a mix. Okay. Put one in there and one in there. I did give you three sticks so you can um, chop and change uh, your colours. Wow, look at that one go. Yeah. Give them a really good stir in. Unless you like the sort of colours going through it. I think that would be the effect I'll go for on the last one. Um, I'll try and do it as like a marble. A marble effect. This one I kind of just want all the same. Oh, it looks like the abyss. Spooky. Sorry, my kid's been watching Scooby Doo this morning. <laughs> Look at that view. I'm going to pour them very carefully.
into our shells. Being careful that you don't go all the way to the edges, otherwise you'll end up with a spill. Number two. Right. Last candle. I'm gonna pop this one into just him and try and do a marble effect. So two more minutes. Welcome back. We have melted blue dye and we have melted our clear make sure you get all those little lumps out we're going to do our last shell I'm going to try and do a little bit of a marble effect this is kind of the first time I've done this so Making sure that you don't overfill it again. Not 100% how this is going to look. Okay, I've got to wait for it to what it's going to look like when it finishes. These two you can see have already started to set. One more thing I forgot to say. Um, if you have any wax left over, just leave them in these silicone moulds uh, to go hard. Once they're hard, you can crack. Uh, all of the wax off to put it into the bin. Any little spills, uh, if you can catch them while they're wet, uh, you can just use a piece of kitchen towel to mop them up with. Uh, be careful because it will be hot. Um, otherwise you can wait for it to um, dry a little bit like this one and then you can just um, scratch it off with a fingernail or a knife. Or Okay, congratulations, you have made your three beautiful scallop shell candles. Um, I hope you've left them to set and uh, harden on a nice um, even surface. Try not to move them about when they are setting, otherwise you may end up with some ridges or ripples in them. Um, you can see from my tutorial, we've got my lovely plain um, shell. This is the one which I mixed uh, the dye into both of the silicone moulds and this was my marble effect one where I tried to do a white and a coloured one pouring in at the same time. I hope you have enjoyed making your candles uh, as much as I have enjoyed making this video. These craft boxes are now available to buy on my website www.nettyshells.com uh, they are only £14.99 please feel free to buy them for gifts for anyone that you know is crafty or into candles, someone who needs a little uh, cheer up. Um, please don't forget to click below to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get updates on any of my new uh, scallop shell craft boxes because there's lots more coming soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.